The campaign for youth justice will wind down our operations in December 2020. As a national campaign, we have achieved many milestones. Here are just a few things to celebrate. A 70% drop in youth prosecuted as adults in the U.S. A dramatic decrease in number of youth in adult facilities from 10,000 children a night in 2000 to less than 3,400 today. And we know that enactment of existing policy can help get that number down to zero. More than 80% of the country has changed over 100 laws to make it harder to send children to adult court. 24 states have made it harder to transfer children to adult court by eliminating pathways to the adult system. Two federal laws, the JJDPA and PREA, include incentives for states to remove youth from adult facilities, leading to 23 states and D.C. doing just that. And as a youth justice field, we have raised the age of criminal responsibility to 18 in 11 states. That has permanently closed the door to the adult system for more than 100,000 children per year. But just as important as these incredible legislative accomplishments, we are proud to have shifted the narrative around youth incarceration. Whether it's from the New York Times or policymakers on a local level, we have seen a more compassionate and nuanced dialogue emerge over the last 15 years. While the national campaign will wind down, robust action will continue on a state-by-state -state basis. Here are just a few of the things we're committed to supporting at the state level. Working with the Sentencing Project in 2021 to help specific campaigns move through another legislative session. Calling on the funding community to prioritize the elimination of charging, sentencing, and incarcerating youth in the adult system and focusing on the eight states that still transfer more than 200 youth per year to adult systems, or the three that have yet to raise the age of responsibility to 18, and focusing federal dollars and technical support on removing youth from adult jails pre-trial in seven states. Youth of color, particularly African Americans, continue to bear the burden of these harmful policies. This work has always and will always be for them the children hidden behind walls who deserve a second chance. Because as we all know, the consequences aren't minor. The campaign is so grateful to the families and impacted youth, to state allies, unlikely advocates, legislators on both sides of the aisle, researchers, and funders who have joined this movement. We all did this together. Thank you.